Yeah. What happened? Okay, the my son. Yeah. He got neuroblastoma. Yeah. How old is he? Three years old. Three years old. All right. Uh, when was that? Huh? That was April. This year, April. This year, uh, this year April. Yeah. The family got detected a lung cancer. Yeah. Present. Yeah. So straight away entered the KK hospital in Singapore. It's a chain hospital, lah. Yeah. So, uh, so they also did the biopsy mm. for 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 him. Yeah. And uh, after all the diagnosis, they, they discovered you had neuroblastoma. Yeah. Yeah. So they do a surgery. They took out the tumor. What did they cut? The mass. The, the mass in where? It's actually on the left side, near the kidney. The lymph nodes, they also take it out. They feel yeah. there are some, uh, not so sure medical term because yeah. lymph nodes they take it out. And then uh, they took a 15 on them, right? Found that 7 is positive with the methods of the, of the tumors, I call it. And the, their report said the biggest is 2.5 cm. Yeah, and then? So they, so they immediately they asked people for uh, chemotherapy. Yeah. Because they said, if it, I, um, I don't let my son go kill me, well, within 6 months, the thing will come back. Mm. That's why I call it to them. Uh. Yeah. So I got no choice, right? Because that time I was lost, right? So you did a surgery and you recovered? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Then straight away to the chemo. She did the chemo. He did the chemo. How many times chemo? Uh, three times. No, like you and I, three times. Yeah. Three times. Then I chemo. stopped. Why did you stop? Reason being, firstly, the side is like, I feel it's terrible. Then I, I did a lot of it. How many do they want to give you? Seven. They wanted to give you seven. Yeah, they're the protocol. Oh. Then they wanted to give you seven. You did the first son, one. Yeah. When you did the first one, was she okay? First one and second one, okay, but the term is a different message. It's called sesquitin or something like that. It's, yeah, it's, it's very tough. Yeah. It's so phase are like black and then his weight dropped from uh, 13 or to 11.3, you know. Yeah. Okay, wait. First chemo, any side effects? Uh, slowly, it's better. It's okay. He can still stay. Okay. Yeah. Second stand. one, hair drop. Uh, still can't stand, a little bit warming and all that. A bit warming thing. Yeah, warming thing. And the one, one is really, <laughs> really dark. Really dark, dark. Weight loss, vomiting, yeah. uh, about 70 days not eating anything. For 7, 6, seven, days, seven So I have it again. Of course, um, in between. What about his blood has gone down? Yes, all this in between. Uh, yeah. I go in between even the first uh, and second, I go into the hospital of fever. And of course, for blood transfusion and pellets in between. Uh, Oh, Pellet also gave. Pellet's uh, in between. About and then after the third chemo, you didn't want to do it? After the third chemo, yeah. I, before that I already studied, I studied and read. Because I look at him, uh, I learned about toxicity and then I read over. I believe he cannot. Really, I feel also the, the scary part of the, uh, the toxic of chemo. Right? Then I studied also a lot of cases, uh, maybe neuroblastoma. Uh, Children cannot make it. Really, even you dose, dose, dose also, uh, they suffer like cannot. Okay, you can you can read all the scans here are yeah. all clean. Yeah. After that, they also want to do radiotherapy. Do you know? Yeah, there's, they said that there's a possibility they, they want to do it. Uh, and also, uh, what they call the BMT. BMT, bone marrow transplant. Yeah, they also want to go at BMT. So I said, no, I, what, what for do BMT? He's not infected. You know, BMT, there's a procedure, right? Like, like plant uh, harvesting and all. I say, what for? I want to let my son yeah, suffer so yeah, much. Was. She in any way doing this warn you that it may not work? It may be destructive? Okay, she, you see, it, for them, they write down in a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, she said uh, the success rate of cure is about, after intensive chemo is about, she would tell like 30 or 40 percent, even after the intensive chemo. So then I went for a second opinion on a, a doctor, also on neuroblastoma. So he advised me to look at the, the, the thing and everything. So he said that my child, the lung already taken out. The only thing uh, is the, because of the limb nodes, uh, that's why it's stage 3. Not that kind of case, actually stage 2 kind of thing. Uh. So he said, in, in this kind of, there are two practices. One is observe and see, at least don't do anything. You know. Second one is like now uh, they, they they do just in case before anything so they, they do the chemo first. So I consult him everything and ask questions and all that. So I asked him, 
uh, what, what do you think of this treatment? Say, if, if he is the one that take it up, he only give maximum five. That means five of the protocol, instead of seven or five only. But he said today you come, uh, it's not to ask me whether to, to give this. You ask me uh, whether should I stop. I said, yeah, I agree. I can't ask you, I can, can I stop? I don't want to do any more, you see. He said in, in, in practice, uh, there's no such thing going to stop three, no one do that. Either five, but today he said you come and see whether I will stop. They explained to me, give the side effects too much to stop it. But he didn't it directly. I just tell me now. He, he tell me the percentage of. If you don't do up to five, the person relapse how many, you know, how many if you don't do, if you do, and then how many take off percentage. But he said, then you have to measure as a parents the side effect. Mm. After he pushed the ball back to me, you, you didn't take the decision. So I said, based on this. Uh, you went to talk to him. Uh. Of course, the protocol says that it, it must be five because uh, anything less than five is something. Because they are all so five. Uh, of course, the other person say you must do seven. Yeah. This fellow say I would have done five only. Yes. Okay. But you went after three. The side effects so bad. So what did he say to you that okay, would you stop it or not stop it? No. He did not. He, 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 he has a doctor you want. He tell you the side effect is too much. Then stop it. You stop it, but you decide because he tell the percentage. Yeah. Like if you don't up to five, the relapsing is how many percent, and, yeah, uh, and then you cut down, then but we still tell the side effect, kidney effects. Uh, like people that do this with kidney problems in the future, hearing yeah. problem, yeah. and liver and all these, they tell the percentage of like differences. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you you pay for the side effects if it, it does not kill the side. Because it's not only the side effect, it may get killed. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing. That's his, he also told me that that his they uh, Has he ever mentioned that uh, you may even die with chemotherapy? Yes. He yeah. said. He said. Because he's a private doctor. He's not a government one. Can go to. He's he's a very professional guy. Hmm. Uh, he's 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 also in this area like yeah. yeah. He said he didn't put that like he might die like. He said yeah. that uh, we don't want to see the cases yeah. that children die in the treatment. That's what he. Did. But, uh, it's it's oh my yeah, yeah. Yeah. People don't even tell me at all. You know, this one at least uh, he analyzed for me the percentage and he at least give me some support. Uh. You guys, of course, as parents, I understand. You know, you, you decide, tell the side effect, but it is standing he will do in this way. Right. Then he tell me the two school of thought. They didn't even tell me the two of school of thought. They tell me uh, six months they, they will come back again. So. I got no choice. Nobody will to be able to know whether six months come back or not. In theory, maybe. In practice, it may not be. Mr. Teo, you're right. Because, but I don't know, I'm a lady. Because they say, if you go and look, they look at the newsletter, the website, see, get a long newsletter, and evening with Ella. And Ella yeah. had a very serious ovarian cancer. The best surgeon in Australia removed everything. But told them, you must do chemo. You don't do chemo, you die within six, three months. You do chemo, you also die in three years. That depends. Quality of life is more important than you can gamble on. And then? And I said, no, I don't do Yes. She's very brave. She's very brave for me. Ella took my hair. After one year, she flew to say hello to me. And now three or four years. Still right? I tell you what, because I was desperate already, so, I don't I look at my side, tell you what, the process I go to the hospital with him together, I resign from the work actually not if I take one year leave. I be with him every day, I see those children in the hospital, you know how many of them crying and my son I know and Maybe you know the three dosage I give. Uh, I think my my heart aches because I saw basically poison into the pot and you know, all every day. Uh, and then crying all this. Come take care. Yeah, I must I must fight. Yeah. But unfortunately, is the time is too fast for me to get Why? Because I have a lot of time. I because I just had a second second kid. 
my wife was pregnant. Who oh, helped everything, right? So, so I don't know that at the time they do that. I just follow, I call, I call it, I don't know. But slowly, I, when I do small research and then I search a whole web and you know, I, I go through all that. I saw how, how, how terrible it is. Before I do the chemo, right, I also go for Chinese TMC you know, uh, to count. I'm just yeah. thinking the, the yeah. thing is so bad, just to yeah. counter, yeah. you know, lay methods to counter yeah. the chance. So yeah, I think the, uh, the, 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 the Chinese doctor. Yeah. So, the herbs, yeah. Yeah, herbs and but what does the Chinese doctor there tell you as you to do chemo? He did, the first time he didn't say anything, okay? Yeah. He just said, you will try his best to counter that. He said that this not thing. He didn't say what he want to do, but he said that you think very fast. Uh, chemo will be like a knockdown, yeah. fast knockdown is good in the beginning. Uh, but he also never tell you don't or don't do. Then yeah, the question is that the wrong concept again. Okay. Yeah. The question is knockdown what? There's nothing to knock down. You already removed already. What is there to knock down? That that that's the thing. I, I, no. Then you listen to my story. Yeah. So after the third one, right? I told you after we missed the third one, right? So bad, I'm going to see again. He then examined the, my son again. <laughs> then he told me, uh, the fourth one, you want to do it this form, and you have to be careful uh, when you want, you want to do the fourth one. You think twice. He, he told me like that, you think twice. Who? Oh, the child's doctor. You think twice. I told him, uh, the next one I told him, I said, I, I don't want to do it anymore. Then he said, uh, again, uh, he doesn't want to commit, uh, I just said, he said, thank God. He said, thank God that you don't. We have, I have been having a headache, even the wife. We have been very worried of him that you, you, if you if you bring your son for the next one, because why? Uh, and he, she said in Chinese, uh, too bad to say that he, he might die. Like, you know, it's like, right. so he said, he's very happy for me. So, but he, you know, it's a physical. We don't commit like that. People that day they don't commit because they, they worry like, you know. So I don't do a chemo. So now I got totally uh, don't have the normal traditional so right. So I have to be hard looking right to source for this. So I, I I call you, I source around maybe. I, I wrote to you again. Yeah, I saw it like that. I went to the web to see a lot of successful cases that can new plasma is very aggressive, I think. A lot of people kill, even kill one You come here, the first question I will ask is that simple. If you want to be chemo, I ask you, do you want how do you want your son to die? That was the same question I asked the lady. Now the the, the girl is curious old, right? <laughs> what was the first question I asked her? They said you came three months ago. I said, how do you want your daughter to die? You want her to die while doing a chemo in the hospital? Or you want her to die in a natural death? You come and see me, yes. I feel gone. Yes. That's only that answer you have to give. No way chemotherapy is going to kill anything. You may cure the plasma, but you will destroy the kidney, you will destroy yeah. the liver, and he's going to get the kidney very soon. Yeah. So it's not I, Whether you want to let her suffer and die that way, or you come and see me, I say let's die naturally. Anyway, all of us have to die anyway. It's a matter of time. I don't make decisions for you. But when you come here, I'll tell you the facts in a very blunt and an honest way. You make your decision, not me. Listen. But again and again, I tell you also, I shy away from helping little children because I have a very soft spot for little kids. When you reject me, uh, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. I am then down. Yeah. So tell, I tell you why. Because the first time, when I wrote to you, you say come by. <laughs> then second, you say you can't take out your children. I say I tell, I tell you, if I don't catch you, I'll come here even to to see you. I don't care whether you want to see me. 
You know why? Because I, I think in the whole Singapore, you are the only one that's to treat this successfully. successfully. No, so, I have no objection yes. to you do the surgery. But that's all that you need to do. You see, the rest, it is still not there. Of course, the cancer is there, cancer cell is there. But the cancer cell is there. It's not the way to fight like that. You fight like that, you kill the person. So maybe you can do other things to make it work. That's the most regrettable thing in this is because of that. You see, yeah. Actually, I don't see it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate because I... What is done is done. There's nothing we can do. Uh, there's really nothing we can do. Now, you are still taking the TCM terms. Uh, yeah, at the moment. That's why I'm yeah. going frankly because right. I can tell you everything. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, does it help in a way? Uh, yeah, it, it does help in terms of like, he's, after the chemo, it's actually quite, now he's getting back the normal, a little bit more energy and can jump around. She's, now he's, she's okay. Yes. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. I hope it's okay. I don't know, but no, but I'm saying as a person. Yeah, he can, he can, but not. Uh, the weight had not been gained like the original. Oh, okay. Yes. Don't worry about the weight. But what you see is that he can walk, he can run around. Yeah, he can, he can walk around. and move and move. Okay. Honestly, I really don't know what I can do. I know. But I just want to... I, I feel good to, to tell you about this and try to see if any way you can help. Uh, because... I really don't know. I'm trying to honestly you. Okay. Uh, because anyway, you already have decided that you don't want to get any more chemo. So, that is.